Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We've got some Star Wars Black Series love happening today. Um, again, uh, just following on from Chewbacca, which I just did a review of, so if you haven't checked that out, go back and have a look. It's a great figure, one of my all-time favorite Chewy, Chewy figures. But for this one, we've got Stormtrooper from Planet Mimbin, um, which, just a little spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie yet, we see, we see Han Solo um, basically fighting for the Empire on Mimbin, and you sort of see these guys uh, in the trenches, they're filthy, um, the mud troopers are on the same planet, um, so yeah, we it's, this is this is a cool figure. It's I admit when I first saw the um, you know the the original release, I thought it was just going to be a repainted stormtrooper to be honest with a cape, but there's some subtle differences to this guy. I mean, the body is mostly the same, um, but we've got a new helmet with some little little touches there, which are good. So again, we've got an exclusive on a lot. They've done the brown in the back there, signifying the mud of Mimbin. Again, not numbered. Little right up there, you can pause and read. So yeah, another, another interesting look at a box. Let's look at the figure. This is where the action is. Now, yeah, I can I can sort of understand why people, you know, sort of see this as a normal Stormtrooper, but if we just look at the brow of the helmet, it sort of got this, almost looks like a raised visor. It's sort of a little bit, protrudes a little bit longer than a regular Stormtrooper helmet, which is just sort of follow on from the back half here. And the other difference is that it's, it's got a, a white holster, which I'm not, not sure if that's 100% accurate to the film, but uh, you know, the normal Stormtroopers have a black one, so I don't know, don't know. But for the most part, it's it's a regular Stormtrooper with some pretty awesome paintwork, to be honest. I really like this, this look. Um, I love a good spin on a Stormtrooper, I mean, except for the, you know, we've got that weathered one that came in the four pack, which had a few blaster shots on it. That was horrible. I got them off with some acetone. Um, and we've got that new one that's apparently a Walmart exclusive, which comes with a base and some blast effects and score marks and carbon scoring on it. It looks look, doesn't look that great, but they've done a they've done a pretty sick job of this. Um, weapon wise, it comes with the standard E11, uh, which looks eh. It's you know, it's pretty pretty plain. They've done a couple of little paint details on this some, some silver there and a little bit of silver there at the end of the barrel but uh yeah otherwise it looks looks like a plastic blaster um you could swap that out for a spare i'm sure everyone's got a box of spares by now um for their black series figs but uh the cape's pretty cool it sort of ties on around the back goes around the arms loops up over there which is nice so you could definitely take that off but I think they look great with the capes. I thought it might have been a hood, but it's not. It's just a extra layer. But it's a, it's a nice looking Stormtrooper. I'm going to grab a second one. Um, I've got two range troopers and I've got... Almost got multiples of every other trooper I own um, so far. Uh, there's probably one or two that I don't have multiples of um, in terms of Imperial troops, but yeah, this one I'll definitely get a you know, second one of. It would be cool, really cool to just have these two sort of standing around. And it's about to get, you know, we're just rolling into winter here in Australia, so we'll be getting some wet mud outside soon, so we'll definitely get a couple of these out for some shots. I think they look cool. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice fabric they've used. They've sort of weathered it up as well. It's hard to sort of see, but you can sort of see that they've dirtied it up a little bit. Now it's not like a, it's almost a bit of a, I don't know what it's called, a bit of a polyester blend, I guess. It's not going to fray terribly and, you know, we've seen some terrible fabrics recently, but this one doesn't seem too bad. So articulation for this Stormtrooper, we've got ball hinged head and neck, 
uh, ball hinge shoulders, double jointed elbows, ball hinge wrists, uh, the torso joint, ball hinged hips, swivels at the thighs, double jointed knees, and ball hinged ankles. So great range of articulation for this one. Uh, yeah, definitely recommend picking this one up. It's a cool trooper. Um, yeah, despite the fact we saw more of the mud troopers, hopefully we get some mud troopers. That'd be cool. Um, I do believe we're getting Val in her um, mud trooper outfit, but we'll see. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, just a reminder: I always forget to remind people. You can find me on Facebook um, at the Force of With Jesse. It's not. It's pretty easy to find, and at Instagram at the same at the same handle. So if you don't follow me there. Um, definitely stop by and have a chat or have a look around. So, yeah, until my next video, guys, may the force be with you.